All right. Wait, what are we? Ah, mech drops. Mech drops against a Terran. Why do I feel like we always play this map when we play mech drops against Terran? Like every time. Ah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely in the mood for some, for some Thor drops now. Yeah, I'm gonna drop some Thors. Even more than normal. Normally I drop two. Now I'm gonna drop at least two and a half. Do you want your dash still alive? I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's mostly a zoomer game, I think. But I do have some levels. I made a level called Protoss. Protoss 1 in, in Geometry Dash. I'm not, I'm not kidding, by the way. I have a level called Protoss 1. Um, and a level called Thermos. And I have a level called, like, Georgix after the Twitch chatter. I, I have three bangers of levels in, um, <laughs> in, in Geometry Dash. Now, Protoss 1 is not the easiest level. It's the most annoying level. It has, like, fake spikes and stuff that you can't see. So sometimes you just die. Yeah, I, I made sure to make it like the most annoying experience possible. <laughs> but like, I feel like at, at some point that game like un unpublishes your levels, I guess. Um, so I'm not sure if they're still playable. But if any anyone's playing Geodash, you should try Protoss 1. <laughs> Absolute banger, guys. Promise. How many career games did it take me to reach Grandmaster? Uh, I don't know. Not many, really. Um... I think it took me a couple months. I don't know how much, how many games. I think it took me a couple months. I did play a lot back in the day, though, so it's really. Is he cheesing me? What the hell is he doing with his SCV? Otherwise, you guys saw that? That was highly suspicious. I'm, I'm not. Sure. Let's see what he has, because that's okay. He's probably not cheesing me, but that was a highly suspicious SCV movement. You you never see Terrans give up their SCV. Like Protoss can recall, right? So they just get free scouting, basically. Or well, at the at the expense of a recall. But Terrans never do this, so this was highly suspicious. I, if I had to guess, oh, this is fucking dying! Oh my god, I didn't realize that at all. Oh, oh I I always find it so embarrassing when you lose a worker. Almost. I, I would say it probably took me like two K career games or something to get the Grandmaster. I th I think that sounds about right. I feel like I I was playing Protoss back then, and I just feel like I had the Tassadar portrait. Before I got GM, which is like a thousand wins with Protoss. So I, I would say, you know, my win rate is probably about 50 50, right? Before I reach Grandmaster. Um, so yeah, maybe like 2,500 games or something like that. Okay, how do I do this build again? I think I need a bunker. I'm always so freaking happy when I play on this map for these crazy challenges because I can just wall this off nicely. I'm, I'm just waiting for the day where I, I mess the wall off up. And someone just jumps in with the Reaper and just owns me. Or even worse, a bunch of Reapers. Oh, I do need a bunker, by the way. I'm being kind of crazy right now. Definitely need a bunker. And a third gas, probably. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like 100% safe in my natural. Um, as soon as the bunker finishes, at least. Well, I wouldn't say 100%, because they can always YOLO past the bunker, which is normally a pretty crazy move, but I guess it would work. So... Can you really call it crazy? Okay, I'm allowed to make one more. Uh, one more marine, I believe. Let's get the third gas up here. Thor before the medevac. It would be very useful for me to scout. I I didn't really think about it. Because mech drops feels like a pretty well-rounded challenge, you could say. Because I'm just allowed to make mech units, right? I mean, I, I need to drop them. But defensively, it feels pretty alright. He's not blocking. Okay. Wait, this, I don't think he could have made something from that yet, right? I'm always trying to read the add-on timing, but since I'm a little rusty, I don't quite remember. But I think he didn't have time to make something for that. For a second, I thought it was going to be a tank drop, but... I want to guess probably not. Well, it could be. You know, it's so hard to read builds when you're doing something like this. Like, I, you build up a feeling for certain things, you know? So, like, let's say my second Cyclone is halfway when the tank drop arrives. But I don't exactly know... If, if the tech drop arrives when my Thor is finished or something like that, you know? Like, it's a, it's a, it's a little harder. Okay, so this one is going to go all the way around the map this way. The only reason that would be bad for me is if I get attacked directly, because then I need to counter pressure a little more. You bet I was a 6 k there. I, I was a very dirty Protoss cheeser. I, I'm going to I'm gonna tell you my, uh, my Protoss adventures, how I started in a nutshell, okay? I was one of those guys that always said... Back then for extra context. Back then, you couldn't get demoted from Grandmaster. So if you got promoted to GM, you, you were just 
you were golden for the season, right? So I was one of the guys that said, I'm just going to cheese and, and get GM. And then once I'm GM, I'm going to learn how to play macro games, right? But then when I got GM, I was like, you know what? Maybe I can just cheese until I'm top 100 or something like that, you know? And then I ended up being, I think I peaked at like, maybe like rank seven. I think it was like rank seven or rank nine Grandmaster just doing Protoss cheeses. And my, I, I had one build that I would call a macro build. And um, it was like a three base blink call in against Zerg with 3-3. Three, three. Let's see if there's something here. Yeah, I, I, I did see the scan. I did see the scan. I think I'm going to hide it in the corner over here. I just need a little more map vision. Um, do I need these Marines? Probably not really, right? Yeah, I'm going to move one to each watchtower. Yeah, I, I, I know it sounds absurd, but there was actually... It was basically a 3-3 all-in. I'm not even kidding. I was I was quite literally doing a 3-3 all-in. Like, I, I had no... Oh, what the hell is going on here? I had no follow-up whatsoever. I was just... It was just a 3-3 all-in. That, that's what it was. Mass stalkers, no fourth base, no no colossi. Yeah, keep in mind, in Wings of Liberty, Protoss was even more like... You, you needed tech units to... Um, you needed tech units to win a fight, right? Like, Protoss was always very low in supply. But they had these awesome colossus and storms and whatever. So the fact that I was playing without Colossi made it made it very all in. Like I had no chance of winning a macro game. This was also in Brute Lord Infester, by the way, which if you guys didn't know is the most imbalanced era in StarCraft 2 history. Like quite literally. Um so there was just absolutely no chance. All right, now I got four Thors. Is there something I can do with four Thors? Probably not. But I mean, I guess if he attacks me and I drop four Thors in his base, he is gonna be held hostage forever. <laughs> like that, that, that's definitely a thing. All right, let's see. It, oh, this gas was already saturated. I do want a sensor tower. Yeah, I feel like my opponent is just playing super passive, which is annoying because I want to drop these four Thors in his base, but I also know if I do it too fast, then they just die. I, th I think I'm going to wait for my second drop. I'll create like two forces of four medevacs, four medevac groups, and then I'll drop... Um, well, yeah, depends. I don't know which one yet, but I'll drop one of them first, and then when he's distracted, I'll drop the other one. That's the plan, basically. No, I do need the sensor tower because he might be attacking me soon. It sucks that I only have marines, so they're actually gonna beat out, uh, gonna get beaten out by whatever units he sends to the watchtower. Sarah plus old brooder investor equals. Well, the thing is, everyone was Sarah with the old brooder investor. I am not even kidding. Like, if 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 you guys think you know what imbalance looks like. You, you don't really know what it looks like until you were in Brooder and Investor. Like, I'm not, I'm not exaggerating, okay? Like, legit, literally, I was top 10 GM, and I, I would lose in macro games to mid-master Zerg players. I, I'm not exaggerating, by the way. Like, I'm, I'm genuine. Like, you, it was just... There was nothing you could do. Actually, nothing. Okay, this looks like a pretty cool setup I have going here. Look at these Thors. <laughs> this is going to be held hostage by these stores forever. I'm going to drop on top of the tank. And then there's... Yeah, oh, I'm going to be able to drop in between the tanks. Look at this. Both tanks are going to die. But this is beautiful. Even my third base is still alive. Look at these absolute Giga Chads go. Is he going to land those? He's going to land those. That's also a proper Giga Chad move, I have to say. going to save a few of those, I hope. Let's see. Oh, if, the, if these stay alive, that'd be awesome. Let's kill those. Oh, no, that one is going to die, I think. Yeah, he did target it. Oh, that was a great move, though. I even killed the Raven. I can save it. Oh, didn't have boost on that one, barely, though. Is he still there? I don't think so. Oh, no, he's... Oh, no, okay. It stayed alive. For a second, I thought he uh, he killed it. Now, I've been making some more medevacs, so now I can drop Hellbats on top of... The oh, I actually have more medevacs than I thought. I can drop Hellbats on top of these tanks. Probably crush it. At least I shouldn't be too confident. I should uh, most likely check first. Let's see. Oh, it's, it's actually just tanks. Yeah, look. Oh, man, this was a beautiful maneuver. I loved all of this. I mean, I know I lost my big daddy Thors for it, but it was still beautiful. And I, I at least I feel like we're ahead. I did... Oh, I was going to say, I was, I, I did lose my Medivac with the Thor, but I didn't. Good thing I actually checked. That would have been very sad for this big boy Thor. Dude, I have so many Medivacs. If he attacks me, I'm going to unleash the wrath of Hellbass on his army. Let's see. I mean, I hope for his sake he's not here because I'm, I'm fairly certain I would I absolutely crush him if he tried to attack me. Hellbat drops are insane, okay? Hellbat drops are insane against, uh, yeah, mostly bio, like attacking armies. Even against siege tanks, they're pretty good, though. Okay, is this enough of a doom drop, I think? I kind of want to have something even bigger than this. 
Let's see, I've... Oh my god, that is a lot of freaking tanks. Never mind, this seems pretty good. Eight tanks and eight to be hellbats, I suppose. I hope he didn't take the watchtower. I have a feeling he F2'd his unit back, but you never know. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Guys, please don't take risks like that, okay? Don't, don't, don't try to do those reads at home, okay? It's, 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 it's a little silly. Don't <laughs> Just clear the watchtower first if you play, okay? Promise me, guys. Oh, he's attacking me now, perhaps? I don't see anything in my uh, sensor tower. I have one turret over here. I don't have that many medivacs yet, and I've been supply blocked a little more than I would like to admit. Uh, maybe I'm just going to go for the double attack. That sounds decent. Let's see, what does he have here? Not much. It's going to be eight. Oh, that medivac. Wait, that medivac died. That's pretty annoying. He's going to land on top. Not sure if that's going to work out for him, though. It's going to be close, I think. Uh, please kill the Vikings in time. Okay. Oh, wait. Uh, no, I thought those were my hellbats. Oh, it is actually going to work out. Ah, oh, that sucks. I, I thought I was. it was very, like, mislanded, I guess I should say, by him. But didn't end up being the best trade for me, sadly. Oh, I could save a couple of those, most likely. I don't think I really need that many, but... All right. Um... What do I want to do now? I mean, that was that was my biggest plan. I I think I got a little overconfident, not going to lie. I really thought I would just have him with that drop, to be fair. Um, I didn't even realize he was playing mech, to be honest. So that's uh, that one's on me. Okay, it's time to go for some worker kills. This is always what I do when I'm in trouble. Okay? Oh, this is always what I do when I'm in trouble. I just drop helmets everywhere, and it always works out. Got decent upgrades going as well. Let's saturate this base. We have a nice double sensor tower on the right side as well. It seems like he's playing very passive. I, I suppose he just knows I'm up to doing only mech drops. Um, did he? I feel like I saw a command center flying, but I just don't remember which base it flew to. I, I can only guess he has one of the four. Yeah, okay, he has this one. Exactly, that's what I would have assumed. These Hellbats can do a decent job. These are going to go into the main. Probably going to reach barely in time. It's close. Yeah, I think this is going to be okay. Please get out both. Yes, very nice. Okay. And then this is going to come even more of a surprise. Let's see. Oh, he does have a tank there. Quite annoying. How many helmets did I get out? Three. Also pretty nice. Yeah, this is just really good harassment. Like, I legit think these helmet drops, one of the best harassments you can do. The, the medevac is a, it, it's pretty expensive. I think I'm even... Wait, I'm going to go for a second starboard here. That seems like a decent idea. The, the problem for me here is that my opponent's making a mech army that's just way, be way better than mine, right? Because I don't have air control or anything like that, so... Like, if he's gonna attack me... I mean, I could also just make Thors. I could drop a bunch of Thors in his base, too. Let's see if this triggers him to attack. I feel like he should attack upon seeing what I have, because there's there's not a single... Wait, I've, yeah, I have one Thor. Never mind. No disrespect to that Thor. That's my only, <laughs> you know, thing that shoots air, basically. Let's see. I'm just going to pump these full with Hellbats and kill more workers, to be honest. I mean, if he's really going to play that passive, then I'm just going to join him in that game. I'm going to make a bunch of Thors. And I'm going to cancel these tanks as well. And then I suppose I'll try to max out on a million Thors. I mean, it sounds like a weird idea, but I, I think it could work. So we have four medivacs on each side. Hopefully, we can kill some more workers with this. Um, I would like a sensor tower on this left side over here. It just feels a little bit naked for some reason. Let's see. This is going to be a really good distraction, I think. He does have those turrets up there. Okay, let's go into the main again. I'm trying to see where... Maybe I can kill a bunch of these. Okay. I did lose some medivacs, but in, oh, in the end, it's still going to be pretty good um, amount of workers killed, I think. Oh, did this one got cleaned up a little faster than I would have liked. And now, because he's playing super passive, I'm going to stop making Hellions. I've... Two more sets. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it fits. I might as well drop those. And now I'm just going to start uh, making Thors and Medivacs. Because he really... I mean, if he would attack me, I would really need these Hellbats. But since he's not really doing it... I would, oh, no, no, he's... Okay, exactly. Be better not be freaking attacking now. Since he's not attacking me, I think I can actually just make Thors. I'm not, I'm not sure it's that great of a strategy, to be honest. But I guess it's my only option at this point. Mech drops is limited to Mech drops, guys. I'm going to go for 3-3. Three, three. I think our upgrades are pretty similar, so... Don't really need to keep that in mind, necessarily. I, I I could have taken this rich gas base before. Dude, he's just... Okay, I mean... <laughs> tell me you're aware of the challenge. <laughs> like, oh my god. Wait, did he get range? I think he has range for the turrets, man. What the hell is that? Alright, let's see. Um, uh, Yeah, I can, I can sneak by here, I think. It's just two. Kill a tank. Should be okay. There we go. And then get into the mineral line. I mean, any hole you can find in the defense is pretty nice. 
Another good amount of SCV skilled here as well. Oh, now he's attacking me. Okay, I need to counterattack ASAP. Like, there's there's no staying at home against this, right? Let's see, I, I want a couple tanks at home, but not too many. The Thors need to be at home for the air. Let's see, don't tell me he's going to go back now. Come on, my man. You got to... Why are you going back? This, this one is going to get a, a penalty when he gets back home. Or, yeah, he's probably just going to die right away. That's penalty enough, I suppose. <laughs> okay, what is my SCV count at? 81. I'm going to sacrifice a few. I, I don't know why he's making turrets in front of my base. I don't have... I don't have air units. Like, I, I actually don't know. Okay, here we go. I, he doesn't have... Oh, he has two more liberators just finishing. Maybe I can kill this command center. Okay, so it might burn down. That also works. Does he have any defense here? He brought his liberators back. I don't have enough medevacs at home. Uh, to break the tank line, unfortunately. If I had a lot of medevacs with Hellbath that I could break it, I wouldn't really mind if he drops those Vikings, to be honest. I'm just gonna kill a few of them and, and that's it. Yeah, in the end, the trade was not so bad. Wait, he doesn't have uh, air upgrades yet. I was sure he would have them. How many medevacs do I have? Zero, right? Yeah, I do have zero medevacs. I'm making a couple now. He's making turrets against my mech drops instead of just keeping Vikings there, which I find... Very interesting. I mean, I guess it's a good uh, anti-F2 defense, right? I mean, you have to give him that. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a good anti-F2 defense. Like, it, 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 in that way, it makes sense. If he's afraid that he's going to F2 like crazy, it, I, I, I suppose it checks out. I'm going to sacrifice a few more here. I want a few turrets against the Liberators myself. Do not go there, please, you silly geese. Oh my god, they take so much freaking damage from Liberators. It's disgusting. Oh no. I, it's so unsatisfying when you accidentally have Thors in the noob mode. There is no damage. Okay, let's see. I, I just need this couple of medevacs so I can drop six Thors in his base. That's what I'm waiting for. Then I can go for some outplays. Stop. Where are you going? Okay. I mean, this army he has is unkillable. Stop. Why are you going there? I thought I fixed that rally ages ago. So I mean, his army is unkillable for me, but there's always chance for outplays. That's what I'm trying to go for. Okay, so I have seven medevacs now. That is seven Thors dropped. I'm not sure why he's going back. Does he think I'm counter-attacking already? Wait, did he actually fly back? No, he didn't. Okay, here we go. All right, seven Thors it is, guys. Seven Thors in a dream. It's not like I care that much about this base. The only problem is, is that my units do spawn here. I guess I do have medevacs, though, so that should be all right. You're going to go back. He didn't take the watchtower, luckily for me. He's probably going to try to seize on top of those at some point. I'm going to repair this Thor. Okay, let's see what I can kill here. And then we back over just in time. And here come the Thors. I'm just going to drop straight on the freaking uh, production, I think. It makes the most sense. Here we go. Okay. I did lose a decent amount of units, I believe, somewhere. I don't know where. But I, we did lose them somewhere, so that's unfortunate. I mean, his, his main base is gone, right? His main base is gone forever. Unless he... Oh, he's, he's going to send a lot of units back. Okay. Try to save this one. Try to save everything I can. I have three Thors here. I think I can probably drop those on top. I'm not sure how many tanks he has behind it. Yeah, okay, very nice. Gonna kill those units. That is already quite nice. Let's repair this one. He, he can't really uh, get close with the Liberators either. Wait, does he not have range? Those seats pretty close, I think. How about you land those Vikings? I, I'm sure it'll go well for you. Okay, what does he have here? It's a Liberator. Man, these stores are doing insanely well. Holy cow. I probably clean up the rest of this too. Okay, he's losing the liberators. There you go. He's getting a little impatient. That's what I'm talking about. But he went triple armory. Okay, that's kind of giga chat. We have to give him that, guys. That, that's a giga chat move. Okay, let's get out of here. Kill this entire squad, too. Wait, look at our supply. Our supply is pretty nuts. We're probably going to lose, like, a couple. Last one, too, maybe. Yeah, we lost about 20. 170 supply is really not bad. I don't think I have any SCVs, though. Yeah, I have 36 SCVs. That is pretty tragic. Um, how many units do I have? I have... Roughly eight Thors with eight medevacs, I want to say. Not much more than that. Oh, I think I lost the SCVs that I tried to send to that base. I think that's what happened. Yeah. Gonna get you repaired. Gonna put uh, these in medevacs. Now he sees that I still have probably more than he would have liked to see, I want to guess. Okay, let's see, what does he have over here? I feel like maybe I should just go for the main base again. Like, it, it worked out so well. And he had such a hard time actually retaking that. That could be a good idea. Dude, this is even... How many freaking Thors? Oh, my God. Have you guys ever seen a Doom Drop like this before? This, this, this is a real Doom Drop, okay? 
feel like Doom Drops need the uh, they they need the uh, you know rework of the definition after this. <laughs> oh, you can go back. This guy's empty. No, it's the wrong one. Ah, no. Did I walk into the scan? I don't think I did. Okay, so the scan gets doors. I think he was scanning the base, right? Yeah, I was scanning the base. He's just making a million turrets here. I'm just gonna fly over it. Frick it, guys. Here we go. <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm having a little bit too much fun here, guys. But are these in the good mode? I actually don't know. Okay, let's try to kill these. Oh, all the Liberators are already dead. That's beautiful. He does have too many tanks, so I need to be very, very careful with that. Let's get a couple more medivacs out. Oh, he's going for it. Okay. No, I don't think I want to fight, actually. How about I kill the planetary? I think I can just go for the planetary, right? Or this base may be better. Let's see. Oh, I barely got that Thor out on the red HP medivac. You saw that? Here we go. Now the Vikings are going to die. <laughs> They're all gone too. Oh, let me get that out real fast. I don't have medivacs left, but... Oh, I don't have a scan. How do I not have a scan? Stop. I do have medivacs here. No, okay, thank goodness. For, I, 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 I panicked there for a second. I was like, where are my freaking scans at? So I'm going to kill these. I can put this one in the air as well. This is so weird. He doesn't have... Oh, no, he still has a star purse. I thought I killed the star purse for a second. Oh, I, I, I'm generally having too much fun here. I feel like I could have handled this all so much better, but it's just it's just the vibe, okay? Don't blame me. I think I'm going to drop it here. Let's see if I can outplay him a little bit. He's going back. Uh, I, I don't have enough uh, units close, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll have to sacrifice it. This is what it is. Look at my mass freaking Hellbat army. Oh, my God. Wait, I could kill the planetary. Without. Maybe like the... I mean, I guess he has that one. I'm not 100% sure, but I guess he has that one. Uh, yeah, I canceled the rest of the medifacs. That's nice. How many SVs do I have now? 54. It's pretty tragic, really. Mm. Yeah, let's just get some more Thors, I suppose. That's the play for me. I do have a decent... Oh, he doesn't have that base. Okay, very cool. Very happy with this one. Uh, did I just put them... I just put them back in the noob mode. I'm, I'm the one to blame for that. That's my fault. Is he not attacking me? I could really use... Did I lose my engineering bay? Did lose an engineering bay. I could really use another sensor tower here. Get that. I, the thing is, I want to drop on top of his planetary, but I'm sure that he's just going to fly his Vikings there. And, oh, actually, it's too many of those things anyway. Okay. Ooh. Wait, is this time? Are we finally going to be able to make it happen? Oh, guys. No, what are you? <gasps> this tank just killed three Thors. That tank is a freaking... You guys saw that? That tank is an absolute serial killer. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. That tank literally just killed three Thors. Oh, but this drop was very good, though. We killed a, a lot of tanks for, for that. Do I have enough? Let me lift this off. This one thing is going to be MVP, though. Okay, that one thing is going to pop off. Okay. Yo, the micro has been pretty good on these Thors, not going to lie. Maybe we can come back a little bit with that. I'm going to port these over here so I can actually repair them. He doesn't have that many units left. Okay, so my own tank killed three of my Thors, and then my Hellbats killed seven of his tanks or something like that. I, I think overall... That's a pretty decent trade. Please stop walking to your death. I appreciate it. I mean, any unit I can save would be fantastic. Oh, that's due to many Liberators. I can't walk through that with Thors. Thors are really good against Liberators if the Liberators are not already sieged, basically. Like, if you walk into Siege Liberators, it's just awful. Like, it's really just awful. My uh, units are still rallying into their death. Totally not my fault, by the way. Let's see. I want to do some counter harassment. I think at this point, he's probably got us, though. I mean, if I look at how much money he has, too many liberators with range. I really feel like he didn't have range, and then he remembered that he forgot it or something, because it... The liberators were not this... Stop. Oh, my goodness. These units are dumb. These liberators were not that effective before. Oh, what the hell? Okay. This guy has a, a lot of IQ, apparently. Saw that coming, like it was nothing. Do I have medifacs left? I have a couple over here. I mean, if I... How many tanks is that? It's just two, right? Yeah, I can kill that. I have more upgrades than him, actually. He never got his uh, his final upgrades. Okay, let's see. I, I can kill that with just a couple of my Thors. He has more tanks, though, than I was hoping for. Hey, the micro is good, though. Okay, wait, look at this trade. No way. <laughs> the Thor micro. We are nuts with it, guys. Okay, let's see. I'm going to drop these guys over here. These Thors are kind of... Keeping this entire base hostage, which is really nice. Come on, Thor, do something. Okay, there you go. Very nice. Killing some Vikings. I do need more Thor. So we got another one over here. That's great. Yo, I actually killed the freaking command center with that. Can I fly or walk away with these? 
I'm gonna get some of these hellbats in there. Maybe if there's uh, the tank still behind, I can kill them. Okay, very nice. I mean, we are making some moves, guys. It has to be said, we are making some moves. I'm gonna try to attack here and now. I mean, I know his economy is probably too big anyway, but mo moves are being made, we have to say. Moves are being made. You can go back here now. These three Thors are doing a pretty awesome job. Oh, we're gonna kill a lot of Vikings here. Look at all those Vikings dying. That's beautiful. Wait, I can just walk out of that and win, right? Ah, no, there's more tanks behind it, unfortunate. Let's see, what do I do now? How many medivacs do I have? Four. Wait, how do I even have four? It looks like I have zero. Where the hell are these medivacs at? I don't even know where my command centers are. Oh, they were next to each other. Never mind. Okay, let's see. I would love to do a little bit of damage, but I don't know if I have the uh, the ability to. There's a couple liberators here. Oh, I'm barely... Oh, that is so freaking close. He barely sees all of those up in time. Then I guess we're just going to go for a counter attack here. That sounds like a decent idea. You can go over there. He has so many freaking turrets, dude. Oh my god. Actually insane. You get out of there, please. Sucks that he has Hellions ready. No. Oh, he's going to land on that. See, you help as well. Actually, that ended up being a really good trade for me. Thor is going to stay alive too. Oh my god, every unit stayed alive there. That's awesome. Did my units win? Oh, these helmets are actually fragging. You didn't really play, uh, pay proper attention there. And now I can attack him from this angle. Yo, guys, this is actually working out somehow. This is... N oh, my goodness. How are these trades still happening? This is just absurd. Please get out of the noob mode. Okay, so we're going to kill this army now. Massive V count is absolutely in the gutter, which is tragic. Let's try to save this Thor. How many units does he have there? I, it's not that many, you know? I, do, I don't think it's a crazy amount. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to go for it. Here we go. Going to drop on top of the siege tanks. Okay, this attack looks very nice. Tanks are going to die really fast. And I have a lot of Thors behind it too. Jesus. Why, why are we just casually playing the game of the year here, guys? I don't know. This just... I don't, I don't even know what to say myself. <laughs> Wait, should I? I could go for some Cyclos technically too. Cyclos might not be the worst idea. I'm going to attack here. Okay, let's go. I don't know. He, he might try to fight me a little bit too early. Oh, he's on siege for the most part. Nah, it's too many Vikings, actually. God, if it wasn't that many freaking Vikings, we would have had a chance there. I mean, we are killing pretty much the remainder of his SCVs. The Thors are now going to be useless. So I do need to uh, make tanks instead with the last money I have. Doesn't really feel like he has a lot of SCVs left either, but... Yeah, this is my entire army, so obviously not... Uh... Wait, how are these Hellions all 1 HP? That's crazy. Okay, can I maybe... Oh, the place. I'm gonna get one tank out here. Okay, we're gonna kill another tank. <laughs> God. Wow, this is one of the most epic... I really wish I we won this game. This would have been so freaking cool. Okay, guys. Oh, it's a bad position for him, maybe. Gonna get another tank out here. Gonna snipe the one Viking. Here we go. Siege up the tank. Okay. We're in business, guys. <laughs> yeah, we got one helmet over here. Just hard chilling. Hey, can I... Oh, no. We don't have money anymore. God, I tried so hard, dude. Oh, my goodness. I tried so freaking hard. Absolute poverty for real. Ah, oh. Oh, there we go. GG. What is this supply? 96. Oh, Jesus, what a game. This game is absolutely incredible. I have to say, I really enjoyed this game. This game is absolutely freaking incredible. 136 workers killed against 94. Units lost is very, very close as well. I obviously lost more. I think we were very close, though, for, like, having to drop mechs against mass turrets with Vikings. I think it was actually very close. At some point, maybe we would have been able to win. Keep in mind, at some point, we really threw a little bit by the mass drop in his base. But this game was incredible. Applause to my opponent for an absolute banger. He deserves it.